want to bring you back to your urtext theories, which have earned you criticism in some musical quarters. People have said harsh things about you because you have been prepared to say that not only have the, the pedagogues and the, uh, the overzealous guardians of musical textual fidelity, not only have they been responsible for us missing music like that, but they have been responsible for the great masterpieces which have been played regularly and are played regularly and survive being interpreted in too narrow a way by the younger generation of pianists. Am I misrepresenting you when I put it like that? Uh, to a certain extent, yes. No, I mean, you're not misrepresenting. What you, say is, uh, <laughs> what you say is true. You know, as, I, as you have mentioned, I have been uh, accused of many, many, many things. I think you will find that anyone that has ever studied with me will tell you that no one has a greater respect for the written text of a composer than I. Now, that is not uh, the reputation that I have. The reputation that I have acquired somehow is uh, that I have absolutely no respect for what a composer wrote. I believe in playing things the way I want or the way I think and, and that is really not, not the case at all. Look, let me put it this way. You know, a composer writes a piece of music. And naturally, it's a, it's a, a, a moment of creation. The greatness and the, and the mystery of which we can never, never even start to comprehend. Fine. How long is a composer involved in the creation of, of, of work? Some composers write very fast, other composers write very slowly. All right, let's say that a composer writes a piece of music, uh, a, a piano sonata. Good. Uh, and in the process of creation, he is very definitely, very closely involved with this work for a period of a month and a half, two months, three months, a year. Hmm? Fine. He finishes the work, and then he goes on to other creations. Now, comes the performer, and we take that piece of music, and we we study it, and we learn it, and we learn all the notes, and we practice it so that we can play everything, and we perform it, and then we let it rest a while, and then we perform it again, and we take out the music, and we relearn it, and rework it, and restudy, and so on. Now, how long are we involved with that particular work of art? A lifetime. You know, I'm playing things today that I learned when I was 13, 14 years old. Now, if after a lifetime of study and performance, which after all is the, is the, the bottom line of the, of the creation of the composer, mm -hmm. am I being too presumptive? presumptuous to think that perhaps I know that particular creation of that composer even better than he did after a lifetime of involvement with the work, you know, making it into an absolutely a, 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 a real personal part of your, of your whole musical being and your whole musical thinking. That is a very powerful argument, 
and, 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 and very powerfully expressed, but how do you discipline yourself to not allow the liberties which you take to become excesses? Ah. How, how do you recognize the difference? Well, that, I'm afraid, uh, you cannot explain in just a, a short uh, chat. <laughs> that is something that, that has to be uh, how shall I put it? Has to be uh, what is it that you do with uh, with metal? Purify. Um, well, yes, I know what you mean, but I can't find the word either. Distilled, sort of. Yes, sort you know, of it has to be distilled. It has to. It has to kind of be filtered through mm. your. Your whole, uh, your whole musical thinking, uh, your whole culture of music. Uh, I think that the only way that you should be able to say that you play a composer's piece uh, well, if I may use the term, is, is if you know the rest of the output of the composer. Mm. You know, in order to play any Beethoven sonata well, <coughs> or in a, in a style which really befits the, the, the grandeur and the genius of, of Beethoven, I think you, you really have to study all the rest of the sonatas. You have to study the variations, the concerti, the everything. Study the symphonies, the... Uh... A question of perspective. Yes, then you get a a kind of an overall uh, uh, picture and, and idea of, of what, what this creator's mind was and how he thought musically and, and all those things you have, to, you have to absorb and you have to make it part of your own personality and, and way of thinking in playing that music. I think that your students are in very safe hands, George Bollett.